Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, Alon Paul here. We're going to be doing the Anomaly video for the weekend starting on August 2nd through the 4th. Uh, very important to get these videos done uh, as far as these Anomaly, not this video, but that the Anomaly missions done because you can get extra Quicksilver on these special missions in the Anomaly. So let's go ahead and head out of our ship here. We're going to blend the Anomaly. Except I'm getting planetary interference, so we gotta pull it in a little further out. And let's go see what our mission has in store for us this week. I hope you are all, you are all enjoying the expedition, the Liquidators expedition, which is currently at about the five week mark, I believe. Five weeks left in the expedition. You can get some really cool gear through this expedition, but of course it's not for everybody. You have to a lot of battling you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be doing at least five full sentinel battles, one of those being with corrupted sentinels, uh, possibly a sixth one. So yeah, keep that in mind. There's a lot to get done there. All right, so there's our blue icon, greenish blue icon at the top. Those indicate the orange ones or yellowish orange ones on the right indicate we have three regular missions we can get done if we wish, but we're gonna go with this one, the greenish blue one at the, at the top. And it looks like we're eliminating eliminating hazardous flora. There's a couple of different ways to do this. So first of all, we're getting 347 nanites and a circuit board. Circuit boards are kind of a not so, not so quite rarish item, but it's definitely worth your time to get that secondary item. Now, it will change for each player. Not all the players are going to get the same items from that, but you will always get the 1800 quicksilver. So we're using our starboard runner, starboard runner, to get uh, things going today. So let's head out. As usual, the anomaly will kick us into hyperspace as soon as we leave and send us to the system of Sean's choosing. <laughs> I don't know if he's truly the, the main programmer and decides where we're going, but I'm sure there's other programmers involved to get these things done. Full credit to them. Great job, guys, as usual, from Hello Games. We are really enjoying the new graphics that have been introduced with the World's One update. So we're really, really interested to see what we have to discover here today. Let's see where we're going. Approximate location marked. Okay, good. Now, with these missions... Oh, doesn't look like we're going there. We're going to go over here today. A toxic anomaly. Salvageable scrap. Emerald. Okay, so we're in a green star system. Ammonia and cobalt. Okay, now, you have to go to the the location it's sending you to. It says approximate location, but you're looking for an unknown grave. So you have to find the unknown grave. Best way to find it is while you're in this mode in your ship, either third person or first person mode, your choice. You want to look at your radar at the very, very top of your screen. Currently, it has the emblem for the actual hazards detected, but what we're looking for is a little diamond-shaped icon. So let's bring it in low. Slow. See, there's a knowledge stone we just passed. And just keep an eye open. Now, the, if you have a ship that hovers, that would be best. Oh, looks like it's right over here. See the icon? Right there. And there it is on the ground right in front of us. So we have to hit this icon first. We have to hit the Traveler's Grave in order to get the start of the storyline on this particular mission. Okay. So let's get this message going. The atmosphere here but psst, by the strangling vines. Very little ammunition. Psst. The fallen Traveler's Log seems to mention the floral infestation but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Okay, so our mission has now begun. Now, you have a couple different ways you can do. You can look for these things. Now, if you look through your F button, it automatically will put you into target sweep mode and tell you where the, where the closest hazardous flora is going to be. Currently, we have one in this direction. So let's go ahead and take a look and go in this direction real quick. And it should find something. So it's finding something in this general direction right there. So we have a steep hill here. It looks like it's just inside this cave. Or this canyon I guess on the edge of the water so there it is right there you can use any weapon you want but for the hazardous floor the best one to use would be your mining beam 
In this case, uh, mine should take this guy out rather quickly. There we go. He's gone. So there it is. Now I'm going to switch weapons so you know how this works. We're going to use this one. In this weapon here, let's go to the multi-tool. Um, we have a little thing. See, like here's our mining beam. But we also have a core that we can use here as well as other outputs as well including a runic lens and that is a very very nice thing to have so um, it should take these guys out a lot quicker now again that's the first way you can find them. so see there's another one over here we can take out we need 15 of them for our uh, for our particular mission some people might vary if you have a, a younger character it may only be 12 or something like that but a second way you can do is looking for caves now you can see down here this looks like this might be a cave like structure in here and what you're looking for is those little green guys right up there see that now turns into a hazardous plant okay so we're going to use our laser on those somehow I'm on terrain manipulator I don't know how that happened should have been on runic lens so I took them both out they're gone and by the way, that is a good way to get rid of them if you just want to get them out of your way. But it didn't help us in this instance. But you'll see we have a few more down here. So, let's go ahead and head down further. See, it's a couple in the distance there. A little further into the cave. And we're going to get these three right away. One, two, three. Excellent. And another one right there. So these runic lasers on these uh, particular multi-tools, they really take things out very very fast they're very very damaging so we've already got five they do come in clumps so a deep the deeper the cave the better off you are finding these things this is not a deep cave <laughs> as you can see so we are going to go ahead and find whatever we can find and we'll go from there so we're going to go back up the slope here with my never-ending jet boost that everybody says is like a never-ending jet boost but Trust me, it does run out after after a while. And you can continue to go. See, a lot of times it tells you it's pretty far away. But if you go into general di distance, the terrain will suddenly start populating so that you can find others much closer by. Here. And he's gone. Okay. It says there's one about 200 clicks away that way, but I guarantee you we're going to find one up this slope. Let's check it out. See, right there. Look at that. Another one gone. Just keep them going. There's another one. And some of the byproducts you get from these, you do get oxygen. Now, if I find another one of those, let's check it out. Not this one. Go ahead and take him. There should be more over here. Let's check it out. We'll keep going. Are those... Yeah, be careful of these. They're sack venom. They can stab you. No reason to get one right now. Go up our hill. There should be more that comes into play as soon as we get over the rise here. Looks like we just found another cave. Ah, there's one right there. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so we got another one of these plants. We'll go ahead and take it. Did we find another one really close by? No? Alright. But we happen to be what looks like another cave. Yes, yes we are. So again, we can go into this cave. That is very interesting, right? Exaberry. And there you are. The reason why you like the caves is because they come in clumps. And you can get usually uh, large quantities of them in these caves. So just look around and once you see them, don't get too close. Because the gases that they emit can damage you. Uh, I don't see any over here. Let's go into the deeper one. Bet you will find a few more down here. We only need three, two more, two more to go. There we go. A little bit of a pause there. Sorry. Oh, there they are. Right at the ceiling. So one. And there's one right there. If you want to take out the others, you can. There we go. So we've eliminated all of them. So we wake our way out of the cave, trying not to get lost. And we'll go back to our ship. 
And as I always say, where's my ship? I say it all the time. Very interesting creatures on this planet that we have here. A lot of planets have different creatures that you can uh, find now. A little more random. In this case, maybe. Alright, so we're back to our ship. So, we want to do the next thing, which is to use a scanner to scan with. <clears throat> and it will usually tell us where we're going. Okay, in this case, we're actually going to go straight back to the Nexus to report back. So that should be the end of this episode. So let's head back. We'll do a couple things while we're there. There we go. A little further out so we can get the, get the uh, anomaly to show up. There we go. Now when we get our reward, we're going to check out the Quicksilver vendor and see what's available to us. Um, through the expedition, we've been unlocking some very interesting... Um, milestones through the community milestones which is going to be parts for our minotaur exocraft so we want to keep at it to do that you can take up out uh, up to 150 sentinels and or anomaly anomalous animals uh you know the ones that pop out of the ground um up to 150 a day is what you can do so we'll complete the mission and we get our Quicksilver and our rewards. So let's see what the vendor has to say. We're going to check the first one that's on here. And as you can see, we now have the Liquidator left arm, which is for the Minotaur limb replacement. So I'm going to go ahead and acquire that into my inventory. We are going to get legs for our Minotaur, Liquidator body. This unlocks a 3 4, and then finally a right arm. The right arm is a new flamethrower that we can have on our Minotaur really really looking forward to this there are other fireworks and other items that you can get in here as well as the decals and stuff like that they should be available we're getting there we're getting there we're only two weeks in and we've already got it almost halfway up so we're doing really good guys keep up the good work all right so that should take care of the expedition for us for today I want to thank you all for watching please like and subscribe oh one more thing one more thing if you started out in a system you really want to get back to, all you have to do is get back in your ship and exit the anomaly, for instance. We'll do that right now. We exit the anomaly, and the anomaly should automatically throw you right back into hyperspace. As long as you don't reload your game, you should go straight back to where you started. This doesn't use any of your warp cells, or your hyperspace juice as I like to call it, and it should get you right where you need to be. As usual, if you have any questions, and if you have any comments you'd like to make, um, especially the questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. And there is my ship. So we're going to land on the capital ship. There we go. There we go. Pulled me right in. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, folks, again, that should be the end of our episode here. Again, thank you for watching. Please, again, hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you've been seeing. I really appreciate you being here. And as usual, take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.